Hello everyone, Delta McKnight here. Today we're gonna play Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. So, before you sit back and enjoy your show, please hit that like and please hit that subscribe for supporting my channel. Thank you, thank you very much and without further ado, let's begin. This should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, there won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses. Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. It took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Martha, do you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working. I'll be right back. I know. And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut off our dinner. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. Thank you. 
Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! Right, I've had it with you. In times like these, we need to support each other. So be nice. Do as you're told. Yes, Mother. Stupid snow. <sighs> I can't carry it in my hands. Beautiful. Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> so, so of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. Right. That's why we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, Give them hope. Agnes? <laughs> Mama?
that baby is coming. But it's not you. Have your waters broken you? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. But look at all the blood. Remember when Martha was born, and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunk old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. <laughs> and she took us to her own chamber, and poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. But why are you talking about that now? She's bleeding. Children? Alfred. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. What can I do? Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. To the kind day. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. It's all right. The day was hard enough on everyone without me complaining. I know, but we will get through this. <laughs> Alfred. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood? Do what your father tells you. Y yes, mother. now be ready I'm here with you I know right what can I do to help Cover me. I, I put more wood on the fire. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? You make a fine midwife. Did you know that? Do you remember the night I came to you? 
in your lodge when you were working on my father's church. <laughs> of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty, death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. Ah. 
I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the Priory later. Fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? Is this locked? When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth. The moon became like blood, and there's no one here either. Where are they? Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness. The pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well. But the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved prior James, has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Philip. We told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the forest, Philip? Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. 
when our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese in St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh, no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. It wasn't Remedius who punished us. Brother Marcus said he's taking a beating now once a week. I saw him crying yesterday. He cried? One more beating by Remedius, and he'll run. I don't think so. Was that him? It must be. You look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Uh, yes, uh, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. That doesn't count. He wouldn't answer. Of course it counts. He was angry with me. If you promise to lower your voices from now on. Oh, of course. We promise. Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. A cathedral. That's probably what the guest master was talking about. If you do something to a cathedral, Each it would be a sin. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well? Prior James did not commit suicide. No one saw him that night. No one knows. God knows. God knows what sent him running out onto the ice. They say the devil was chasing him. Don't save me. I have seen brave men run for many reasons. Never have I seen the devil. So we should not make room for him. Neither here, nor in our hearts. All right? Yes, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. So, uh, again, we're all God's temple. What we have to ask ourselves is, can our Saint Adolphus still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. 
the new prior and I will support you in this. All Kingsbridge needs is faith and hard work. Philip of Gwynedd. I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm, I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. I beg your forgiveness. I was overwhelmed when I heard Prior James had passed. You should know better. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good prior, but here we adhere to the rules. You mentioned a new prior. The election will be held in a few days, when we all convene for the chapter meeting. Let us continue this conversation later. Of course. There's a lot of planning for me to do for the upcoming election. All of us. Because... No, 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 no. I heard him. I'm sure. There was something. He's right. You seem troubled, brother. They won't... They won't sing. It's Adolphus. There was nothing, believe me. I heard him crying in the crypt. I think I heard him too. No, you are mistaken. It sounded like a whip, like he was chastising himself. It's the end of days. Brother Philip, please help me. Prove to them that there is nothing and no one down there. Now stop it. Concentrate. There he was again. I'm happy to see you, little brother. It's good to see you too, Philip. Your hair is starting to get a bit grey. Yours isn't. At least in this one case, I will be the one to boldly charge ahead of you. You've always been bold. You just don't admit it to yourself. <laughs> Francis, what are you doing here? King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the King, and now Prior James. God has a plan. I know he does, but... King Henry's death caused quite a commotion in the world of politics. Dark times are coming. There will be war. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. No talking. Now we sing. Are you sure? Locked. Did you not hear?
I fear the crypt has been locked. Then get the key. Brother Cuthbert should have it. <coughs> there it was again. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius? It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. Ah, wonderful. I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Oh? Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. Why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. I found some beech nuts. Ah, we will grow a beech tree then. Wonderful. If we ever get round to starting the garden. I'm sure you will. Hard at work as usual, Milius? I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day, we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Maybe we underestimate Remedius. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room. Including the priory's ledgers. Remedius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refuse. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? 
One day, he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. He was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins? Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. We'll talk more later. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I, uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. Brother Cuthbert, you seem worried. Prior James was a kind man, but the Priory is in a terrible state, Philip. Philip knows. He was just too kind to say anything. Yes, I know. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk with Prior James about these matters. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the cellar more than once. Today I found something missing again. Has there been a knight to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. Brother Ronaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves. My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. Because God created us in his image. That's why we can all pray to him. We don't need to go to church for that. There, I heard it. <gasps> no, 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 I heard it, I'm sure. 
There was something. The novice said he He's hit right. the keys in here. Now stop it. Concentrate. They're here. I have them. There it was again. <gasps> this brother Marcus really did steal Cuthbert's keys. Nothing here. The saint rests in peace. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Hello? to know that, I should tell them. The brothers did hear something after all. There is no need to worry, brothers. Adolphus is resting in peace. It was just an owl. I, I told you it was nothing. God bless you, Brother Philip. I knew I heard something. Now, be silent, concentrate, and... No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. No, we are the temple. I ask not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this. Hmm? Don't you have your own priory cell to run? You really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. You may never know what happened, and that's that. Now let me get back to my work. Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. <sighs> Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly. About the keys that were stolen by Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Did a knight come to Kingsbridge within the last few weeks? Of course. Even the bishop and the earl were here for the Christmas service. I held the sermon. And the week before? Uh, 
That week I was not here. Andrew Sacrist and I traveled to Shiren to hire cooks and buy food for our guests. I see. Getting cold. When will these novices learn to close the door? Brother Caspers. Hello. Caspers, I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I already have. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? I will leave you to your work. I will leave you to yours. Brother Paul? Philip. Ah, ouch. Oh. What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chill brain. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter. For lack of food or shelter. Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remigius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Yes, he was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? He died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him while he died. Did the knight have anything with him? Uh, there was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remigius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. James insisted that all his books and documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for a Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes... I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here. Philip, maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Have faith in the Lord, Brother Paul. You did well. Thank you, Philip. Here, Paul. Oh. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> A hot stone! Oh. Ah! <laughs> It's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. 
Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. church then? Why cathedrals? Why do we create temples if we are the temples? What is it? Can you not see that I'm working? I would like to take a look at Prior James's documents. And why is that, Brother Philip? Well, our little cell has given much to the Mother House. I would like to ensure that all is accounted for. So you do not trust us, Philip. Is that it? The state of this priory. The state of this priory is the concern of the Prior of Kingsbridge. I still would like to see the Prior's documents. They will be burned tonight. I heard about that. It was Prior James's last wish. I'm following his request. But the new Prior will be lost without the ledgers and contracts. After the election, I'll be the new Prior. For now, you are not. Only the chapter meeting can decide on these matters. L of course. Brother Andrew will surely understand why you would go against James's last request. <laughs> hmm. About the chapter meeting. Oh, talk to Brother Andrew. He will be just as pleased as me to have you around. Now leave. almost arrogant to try and build a great attempt. Brother Andrew, what is it now? We can't allow Prior James's books to be burned. That, Philip, was Prior James's wish. This priory is in debt, and without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5. You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the brothers in a chapter meeting today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? I feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. They're already behind schedule. Thank you for your help. How could I not help you? You're my little brother. <laughs> I knew I could rely on you. Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Yes, 
Please go ahead. We will be there in a few minutes. The sacrist agreed to a meeting today. That way I might be able to get the letter you were looking for. Good thinking, Philip. I will attend, of course. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the cathedral. There will be a chapter meeting in a few minutes. Oh yes, we will be there. Thank you for letting us know. Brother Arnaldus, there's a chapter meeting today. Today, I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. A waste of time. There will be a chapter meeting today. You convinced Andrew? Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah. Thank you for letting me know, Philip. Remember my advice about Remedius. It feeds us. We are people of God. The choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. So did you know him. What are you trying to achieve with your silence? You waste our time. I say he knew him well. James was the one who asked Philip to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. Your silence is offensive. You came to talk, so talk. Prior James was a troubled man. Yes, he left the Priory in the dead of night. God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. Maybe it wasn't the devil. 
We've never seen him. Don't speak for him. He hasn't answered any of my questions. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes, he brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? Let me answer. No. Why is he not answering any of my questions? Tell him, all of you, tell him to answer me. Calm down, Remigius. Philip has said what he had to say. Why is no one listening to me? Look around you. This priory is in a sorry state. Please vote to save the prior's documents from the fire. It's the only way to help this priory. I say we leave the decision not up to a vote, but to Remedius. That is against the rules. Is it? He will be our new prior in a few days. Cuthbert declined. Do you not remember? I remember well. And I say no one in Kingsbridge is better suited for prior than Remedius. Oh. <coughs> well, thank you, brother. That's true. Here, here. I wonder why Cuthbert declined. Surely not. That said, there is someone not from our Priory. Someone better suited. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new Prior of Kingsbridge. What do you say, Philip? I can't disagree with that. Well, yes, obviously, my choice. What? Excellent choice. What about Remedius? That surprise. Great Prior idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Oh, this is it. You found it. The 
the Earl of Shireling is about to start a war. Yes, he's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of death. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why me? Because you have to. There's no other way. Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? <laughs> 